like a YouTube big tourist cam here. How you doing? Before I started this video, I wanted to give a shout out to Righteous CMB. He's got some cool contact uh, content. Check him out. Uh, try to be easy on the comments. I know you are a bit harsh on mine, but be easy on his. Good guy, good YouTuber. Cool beans. Now it's late in that Xbox Live is starting to die, let alone 2K17 uh, on 360. So. I think now's the time where the magician might as well reveal his secrets. One of the secrets is don't let haters drift you past your goals. Stick to your goals no matter what happens, no matter if someone infiltrates your photos and tries to use them embarrassingly. Most YouTubers will be startled by what's going on right there and probably want to quit YouTube. I'm not one of those YouTubers because it's going to take way more than pictures and making them false and turning them into some creativity that doesn't need to be on YouTube to stop me. Clearly these pictures that are being posted up on YouTube is a cutout because you can't find any embarrassing, real life embarrassing photos on my YouTube slash whatever, you know? You can't find none of that. And if you can, good for you, but if you got that enough time to do all that, then in my opinion, you just got no life, man. You got nothing coming your way. Now, obviously, you see my personal life getting involved in the mix. You know, like the wrestling. Got a blocked nose, so I got a cold. But the way I see it is, at least I'm wrestling. What's Wavy D doing? What's the rest of these people doing apart from just trying to troll? Because they got nothing grateful in their lives to achieve. They got nothing. I'm here. I'm there. I'm here. I'm there. There, 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 there. There's nothing I'm probably not doing. I'm acting, I'm singing, I'm dancing, I'm wrestling, I'm doing something. You know what I'm saying? I've got no life. Oh, I've got a life. Oh, uh, you can't make up your mind on me. And that's the great thing about Big Taurus Cam. You know? You can't pinpoint nothing. So if you can't pinpoint nothing, you might as well make up something. And that's what Wavy D is doing right now. But I'm way... To be fair, I feel that I'm way past this. Have you noticed I haven't done nothing too much back to Wavy D? You know why? Because... He's not worth my time, unlike me, worth other people's embarrassing YouTube videos. Unfortunately, Wavy D, you haven't pissed me off bad enough <laughs> for me to be bothered with your Facebook. Do you know why? Because all it is is you pointing your middle finger up on your camera pictures and trying to look gangster when you're a skinny little bootleg Drake drumstick. That's all you are. Why should I waste my time? putting embarrassing photos on you and my YouTube. You don't need that kind of credit. So enough of the slight Ross, let me do something a little bit more productive for you guys. So, why I'm one of the top people on Xbox Live, whether you like me or not, or whether you like the situation or wanna disagree, be in denial. I'm a legend, bro. And this is one of the tactics you need to use. Or it needs to be, because some of it is skill, some of it you can learn, and some of it comes naturally. You need to have the power of adaption. You gotta be able to adapt. Alright? I get my wins, and even after I lose, notice I don't lose for too long because I'm able to adapt to whoever I'm fighting. So adaption, write that down on your key points of if you wanna be one of the best legit players in 2K, one of the key points is being able to adapt. That's one. Number two, you gotta be black. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. Number two, you gotta know the game inside out. You gotta know what you're doing and why you're doing it. Or else, why are you doing it? Now, people can train you for their tactics of how they play the game and make, and then you seem to play like the way they play or something. But you have no intention of your own. Your adaption should be how other people play. Because you can't play the game if you don't know how other people play. Now, you saw in my last video, I pointed out all the names. The drag spammers, the road runners, the taunt spammers, the legit guys. Those are the four categories. So if you know this, then if a hacker does not know what they're doing and they mess up, you should be able to use one of those four tactics to put the hackers or anyone you're fighting back in their place. Right? Jot that down. Put them back in their place. Treat the game like you're in a real fight or you're in a real situation where your life your pride, your ego, anything about you is on the line. Don't treat the game as if, don't make that excuse, that simple excuse that many pe people make. Oh, it's just a game. Oh, it's just a game. 
truth is, it is just a game. But if you treat it, even though you secretly know it's only a game, don't treat it like it's a game. Treat it like everything is on the line. Like your, like your mum is on the line for this stuff, man. Take it seriously. Or else there's no point playing it. Because you're only playing to lose and watch how other people play better than you. And deep down inside, I know that hurts. Don't let people's lies fool you. Okay? You'll hear a lot of stuff like, oh, I let you win. Alright? Or excuses. Oh, I was too laggy. Alright? Okay, sometimes it is too laggy, but sometimes it ain't. I've been in matches where it's not even laggy and they just complain about the lag for the sake of it. Or, oh, you spam the same moves. Don't let pe other people's excuses get in the way of what you know about the game. Alright? This is no longer you going against computers like back in the day. That's what I used to do. And playing Tekken against the hardest difficulty. No, this is Xbox Live. This is now a competition. And now the competition has centered itself to YouTube. Which means you cannot afford to be embarrassed. Alright? Now here's a tip I've been muffling about that I've now remembered that I almost forgot. Here's the number one tip. Okay, you ready? If you are that good at the game. Alright? There's two parts to this. If you are that good at the game and you know you're good, no one can beat you, people make excuses about you or why you're so good, but you know you're deeply legit, like me. This is how you get people... you got to manipulate, okay? This is how you get more people joining your games, and this is how you get more rematches in your games. So you can thrash the opponent over and over and over again. Okay, I had an argument with uh, Johnny05 about this, right? He's talking about, oh, you only face noobs in the game or whatever. Uh, first of all, some noobs are legit. All I care about is who plays legit and who doesn't. If you hack, then you're out of my... I don't need to fight you because you're playing a different game. I'm playing wrestling. They're playing Dragon Ball Z. I don't play Dragon Ball Z, all right? Which is why Sexy J is not allowed in my game no more because... He's, he started hacking in the backstage brawl just because I was beating him. Now he's no longer welcome to my game. That is the punishment, you know? And he's an idiot too. Why would you spam me my comment section with past matches of mine that belong to me? I control the switches. The guy has a, or the audacity to say, you're fake if you don't bring this YouTube back. This guy spam, spam me with a match, a lucky match, that lucky victory that he got. Right, where he got a victory when I tried to do a double team and it backfired. Backfires happen. Doesn't mean you're better. It just means that I should have taken the match a little bit more seriously because my opponents were too easy. They were so easy. I thought I could get away with that double team and it backfired. Then my partner was too dumb to finish the match. That's all that happened. But nonetheless, he kept on spamming every single time I, I was talking. He done what I did and just remind of, of the past losses. The downfall is he didn't record the match I did, which means I got the power to turn around and put the game on private. Now, Johnny, you have to beg for that match back. I want to I want to hear a delightful. I'm sorry, Cam. I won't spam you with those messages again. And then I'll private it. That's all you need to do. But if you keep on acting like a cocky punk, I'm gonna keep it private, and it's gonna you know. It's, it's simple, you know, if you're going to slap someone with their own controller, of course I'm going to take that controller and put it back onto my bed, you ain't never going to get it back. It's just logic, really. But yeah, the main part is you got to act. Not even act, but give the person a chance. You know, back in the day I did not know what that meant because I never had the YouTube to show off what I can do. You know, I was just fighting for wins. Now I'm fighting for wins and to make myself look good at the same time. And the best way to make my look, myself look good is to make the other person look good. Let them beat you up for a bit. Alright? Not for too long because it could backfire. And that's where I got some of my losses from. But the main secret is give them a chance. Make it seem like they got a chance of winning. Because that way, when you flip the switch and get your victory back, or get your victory in the game... It's a manipulation of the mind. They think, whoever they are, that they had a chance of beating you. They'll even say in the comment section below, I almost beat you, I almost beat you. I'm like, yeah, you did, man. You want to try again? Ding dong. They rejoin your game. And they either get their ass whooped worse, or you play the same tactic until they realise they had no chance of beating you in the first place. But by the time they find out, you've already got 10 wins off them.
John Cena came up with a uh, slogan, hustle, loyalty, respect. That's the hustle. You've got to be broad-minded. You've got to think outside the box. You've got to look at the bigger picture. All right? If you're too busy dominating them, everybody knows if you're so good at the game, especially if you're a drag spammer and you want to do anything it takes to win, you're going to put people off fighting you. And that's not what you want. If you're a hacker, you're going to put people off fighting you because they can't touch you. So they're not only are they going to think you're cheating and make an excuse about it, but they're just not going to come back and fight people that are more of their calibre. Become their calibre. And that way you can become top of the leaderboards like I am right now and make it seem like they had a chance of winning. You know? But I'm so good, I could afford to make people think they had a chance of winning only to take the victory from them like candy from a baby. You know? So again, subscribe to my boy uh, Righteous CMB. You know, sometimes my losses are legit, don't get me wrong. Sometimes people are really that damn good that I've got to work even harder to get a victory. That does happen, but most of the time, what can I say, man? I've got wins to get, and hackers make it so easy for me because all these regular people have, whether they're noobs or whether they're getting good at the game or whatever, they got only two choices. Now, I can afford to spill my beans now because the games are starting to die. So now I can just spread it. They got two options. Wavy D, people like Wavy D makes this so easy for me. They make, I get opponents because of people like Wavy D in the first place. Which is why, another reason why I remained legit in 2011 when hack movesets was first getting established. You hackers are so stupid that you build yourself a reputation. You've got a clan. You've got clans. You hack. Anyone who joins your clan are most likely going to hack. So they're going to get booted out of the matches. You expose yourself, right? You've basically got a label on the back of your neck saying, I'm a hacker, don't fight me. So if they can't fight you and people like you are infiltrating 2K, what's the alternative? I'll tell you what the alternative is. Them or me. Why is it better fighting me? Number one, you probably got a better chance of winning. Number one. And number two, I'll make you think that you have a chance to win. Your mind thinks, oh, why didn't I fight this guy in the first place? And also, I have a YouTube. Who doesn't want to be on YouTube these days? You know? Especially if it looks like they put up a good fight. I'm a butthole for this. You know what I'm saying? But it's hustle. How are you going to get by, man? What, you're the most dominant guy? You know, you're, you're non-touch. You uh, can't be touched or no-touch. You're boasting about no touching people. Switch up your style, man. Make it tougher for you. Join handicap matches. Make a handicap match. You know? Increase your skill so that if you do fight anybody, even hackers, you know at the back of your mind you got this under control. Rather than showing everybody how strong you are, whether you have to drag spam. I don't need to explain no more. I think I've explained everything in one video. All I know is subscribe to my boy. Oh, I said this for the third time. Right, cheers, he deserves more, more subscribers. Take care, peace out, have a lovely day. You know, if you find the videos funny, good for you, but I just look down on all of you, I think you're all pathetic. You know, so have fun, you know, enjoy the cutouts. Doesn't affect me really, man. You know, it's just making you look bad. And sooner or later, if I get in a good position, I can make money off you. And then I could put you guys to prison. Is that what you want? Stay tuned, bruh.